Okay, before I start this, I just want to say that I'm just sharing my story. I'm not asking anyone to change their beliefs or agree with me or anything like that. Everyone is still loved and welcome here no matter what. Again, I'm not forcing my beliefs. You can just scroll if you don't like it. This is just my personal story. So I consider myself to be part of the LGBTQ community um, from ages like 12, 13 to like 19. Like for the first week of like this June, I was still celebrating Pride Month. And I also used to think that, you know, like it wasn't a choice for me, like this is just the way I was. And it caused me a lot of depression and it was one of the reasons why I tried to like myself, you know, in high school. And my dad is a pastor. Like I had to live with this my whole life. So if anyone understands that, oh, you guys are so hateful attitude, I, I understand that. And I think the reason why I never even came to God so long was because I was never addressed in such a loving way. It was always just a, you're a sinner, change who you are. And I was like, I, I can't change that, you know? And it wasn't until I realized that it was not my job to change. My job was to give all my problems to God. Because the thing is, without God in my life, yeah, it was something that I couldn't change. It was something I couldn't control. It was just a part of me. And it wasn't until that I gave it to God that I started to see the change happening. And it also doesn't go away like overnight. I mean, like, I mean, there's some cases where it does, but like me, it didn't go away overnight. I didn't give my life to God and then wake up cis head. <laughs> it took a while for it to really get to the point where I am now. And the same thing applies to like a lot of my other temptations. There were a lot of other things that I was like, no, I like, I, this is literally just ingrained in me. Like, there's no way I can change this. But now I'm like, oh, well, this is a bit more under my control now. Of course, I still get tempted sometimes, but it's really not as strong as it used to be. I went from a place of feeling like I could never change this and this is just how I was going to be for the rest of my life to like, oh, yeah, like it doesn't really bother me that much anymore. I've seen a lot of Christians who like are Christian and identify as like something under the LGBTQ community and the way they use their backing is saying that as long as you don't commit the sin, then you're okay. While that is true, you also do need to look at your heart. A lot of sin starts in the heart. It's like the saying where like, if you hate someone in your heart, you've already committed murder. Just because you haven't done the action doesn't mean you haven't already done it in your heart. I just wanted to put that out there because I know a lot of people say that. And I know, change isn't immediate, you know, things take time. But like, you shouldn't use the label if you're Christian. I'm just, again, I'm not forcing you to change that if you don't want to. I'm just putting out my personal opinion and belief. Anyways, that's kind of part of my testimony, I guess. I still have a lot more to cover, but I hope that helped a little bit. <laughs> Keep the comments respectful, people. <laughs>